the potentiometer wire AB is connected in series with the battery BT K rheostat RH as depicted over here. As indicated before, this forms a primary circuit. The end A of potentiometer is connected to the terminal C of your DPTT switch. It's nothing but a six-way switch. So the abbreviation is a six-way key double pole double throw switch. The terminal D is connected to the jockey J through a galvanometer and a hydro systems. The cell of EMF E1 is connected between terminal C1 and D1 and the cell E2 is connected to between C2 and D2 of the DPDT switch. You are able to see the DPDT switch here and your galvanometer and your high resistance and your rear start. I am trying to show the jockey also here. This is how the jockey is. Let I be the current flowing through the primary circuit and R be the resistance of the potentiometer wire per meter length. The DPDT switch is pressed towards C1, D1 so that E1 is included in the secondary circuit. The jockey is moved of the I wire and adjusted for zero deflection in the galvanometer. The balancing length L1 potential difference across the balancing length L1 is given by I into R into L1. By the principle of potentiometer E1 is equal to I into R into L1. The DPDT switch is pressed towards E2 now. The balancing length will be L2 for zero deflection. Obviously the EMF or E2 will be given as I into R into L2. So dividing the equation 1 which is I into R into L1 and I into R into L2 we will be getting E1 divided by E2 is equal to L1 divided by L2. If EMF of one cell is known the EMF of other cell can be determined using the formula E2 is equal to E1 into L1 divided by L2. The difference of the potentials between the two terminals of your cell in an open circuit is considered as electromotive force of the cell. The difference in potential between any two points in a closed circuit is considered as the potential difference. This is the definition. The EMF is independent of the external resistance of the circuit. So that we are talking about the comparison of EMF versus a potential difference. So EMF is independent of external resistance R whereas the potential difference is proportional to the resistance between any two points. This is the difference.